this is the energy vibration um, reading for um, the fire sign, sun, moon, and rising sign. This is the first full moon reading for the year 2019. I want to say thank you for being here. This energy vibration is for um, the Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and Ophios mentioned. Okay, so um, this is going to be good. So whatever the situation is, whatever that is transpiring, this is going to be wonderful. So ladies and gentlemen, let's get in this. And let's check out what is happening for the fire sign people. Okay, I'm, I'm hoping that you guys had a good year um, transition. And I'm wishing you all the best for the year 2019. So, for all you... Um, for all you guys, you Pisces, Kens, and you... <laughs> For all you um, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarians, I am really, really, really wishing and hoping the best for you guys in this year. It's a water year, so you guys are fire, and that is the reason why I'm hoping and wishing for you guys that things are going to be good for you guys, okay? So let's go and see what is happening. First, we have the sun sign, and then we have the moon sign. So if you were born um, 6 o'clock in the morning until 6 p.m. at um, in the evening, you are a fire sign from 6 p.m. in the evening until 5, 5 o'clock in the morning, you are a moon sign. So let's see what's coming up for you fire sign people. Yeah, we have uh, um, uh, Cancer. You guys are dealing with the Cancers and Sagittar and the Saturnus and Aquarians. Oh my God! Whoa, whoa, whoa! You fire signs, water, and oh my God! You fire, you you fire sign. Oh my God! Okay, so the Moon sign are going to be dealing with the Capricorns. Okay, Moon sign is going to be dealing with the Capricorns and. Venus and Jupiter. Whoa, oh god, I don't know what's happening with the Aries, but the Aries are coming up in this first full moon, and it's not the Aries full moon. Oh my god. So, some of you, these Aries could be um, eclipsed out of your life, whatever the situation is. You Aries could be um, be eclipsed out of your life for whatever the reason is, whatever the situation is. You Aries could be eclipsed out of your lives. Okay. Wow. Let's go straight in this reading. So for you, um, a sun sign people, if you're born um, six a.m. until um, six p.m. in the evening, what is transpiring is that you have. To deal with the cancers, okay, whatever the situation that is transpiring in your life, cancers are going to be affecting you. Now, these cancers have a connection with the Aries and the Capricorn. Bam! Wow. Okay, there is a lot that is going to be happening for you, fire sign. So, you Aries are the center of your own energy vibration, breathing energy. A full moon energy so the Aries are going to be helping Aries this this quarter this full moon is going to be helping um, you Aries are going to be um, feeling it as you are helping out um, your other signs so you Aries that are in a relationship with the cancers it is kind of going to come to an end okay but Sagittarian the Saturn is going to take this relationship out of your life okay so whatever the situation is um, you're gonna be seeing the truth of what is transpiring and it's going to be taken out this out of your life now whatever the situation is I'm seeing the aquar the um, Aquarians are here so some of you fire sign because um, it's a vice versa you was by the air signs and the air signs are working with you so a lot of you were in relationship with Aquarians. Um, Aquarians are going to be moving out of your life. Sudden shift of movement that Aquarians are going to be moving out of your life. So, um, whoever these people are in these situation are, you're going to be understanding that if you are in a relationship with a Cancer, the Cancer is going to be move remove out of your life. 
and this cancer some of you could be finding out that this cancer is in a relationship with an Aquarian so get ready for that you Aries um, okay as we look at the moon people the moon people are connecting with the Capricorns now the Capricorns are here and if you're in um, um, you some of you Aries could be connected contacting a Capricorn to ask them about a situation with uh, the cancers okay so some of you Aries could be um, connecting with the Capricorns to ask them about a situation with the um, with the, the, the oh my god this is such a powerful full moon for you fire sign people because um Capricorn is the opposite of cancer of oh, shoot and you Aries are in the middle so some of you Aries could be connecting contacting the Capricorns to ask them about a relationship or um, something about your partner who is a cancer okay because Venus is here um, this is this is going to be powerful um, for the the people who were born in the night, it's going to be a powerful, powerful full moon. The Capricorns are coming in and showing you um, this situation um, because what we're seeing here is that Venus and Jupiter, especially if some of you are going to be connecting with a Capricorn in love situation, it's going to be hot passion and it's going to be the right person to be connecting with especially in this full moon because um, the passion is going to be ignited so you fire sign damn here is it Venus and Jupiter is bringing in the passion with the Capricorn so whatever is transpired for you fire sign I'm seeing you fire sign reuniting with um, a Capricorns for some of you and the love is pouring and this is going to be a, a, a relationship that is going to be bringing in a lot of luck a lot of luck a lot of luck so if you go with this Capricorn person damn your life is going to be changing especially if it is in a love relationship let's see what else is coming out and I'm seeing some of you people who are in in relationship with a cancer um you could be connecting with a Capricorn to find out something about your partner okay be careful because these Capricorns are now and if you <laughs> be careful destiny oh yeah oh yeah release I told you I have told you guys that if you if you are if you guys are in relationship with a cancer you need to release this person if you are married or in relationship with this cancer you need to release it let's see what else is coming out fate see that the, the Capricorns and recovery fat oh discovery I told you guys okay so what is happening um, for some of you fire sign um, what we're having here is confusion this the spark quarter is going to bring some confusion to you fire sign people okay this first quarter is going to um, this first full moon is going to bring some confusion but the, the cancers are going to return the fate to you cancers is going to be um, returning the fate to you the the Capricorns are going to be returning the fate to you guys okay so let's see what is happening destiny um the seven of swords so some deception it was destined to happen nine of pentacles is here four of cups yeah the capricorns are going to be um bringing some um situation to be balanced so here it is um again i've said it and here it comes up because um this is the energy of information communication there is some confusion whatever the confusion is there is Definitely some confusion that is transpiring, and there is clarity that is finally going to come to this confusion. So let us look at the sun sign people. Some of you sun sign people were in relationship with a cancer. Okay, destiny is here. Some of you that is in relationship with a cancer, 
um, this relationship was destined to be very deceitful very deceitful okay very 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 deceitful so whatever the situation is uh, that whatever the, 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 the you know this relationship was not based on honesty this is what they're saying this relationship was not based on honesty whatever is transpiring some of you were in relationship with a cancer the relationship is not based on honesty as we look at the planet of Saturnus, because Saturn is releasing, it is taking out something out of your life. And there is going to be a lot of conflicts because some information is going to be coming in. And there's because there's a lot of confusion that is going around. And um, Saturnus is going to be releasing something out of your life. It's going to release a conflict out of your life. Once and for all, it's going to be releasing a conflict out of your life. So this is good. Whatever the decision is, whatever the situation is, um, whatever conflicts that was in your life, you fire sign people, um, Saturnus is coming to release this conflict out of your life, okay? Um, once and for all it's ending this conflict once and for all so that is good for you fire sign it's really releasing so for the fire signs who are dealing with the Aquarians this could be a very prosperous relationship um, whether in business if it's if you're going in business with the Aquarians or in relationship it's going to be very very prosperous the nine of Pentacles is here um, precision and this is going to be good so for the five signs or in relationship with Aquarians Gemini or Libra it's going to be a very promising prosperous relationship so that will be good as we are moving forward and we're looking at the people the moon sign people um, if you're dealing with Capricorns this is going to be a spiritual alignment and this is going to be good so um, because what is happening if you notice is the balance of four so it's really about um, spirituality so um, the, the Capricorns are going to be connecting with you in a very spiritual spiritual way whatever the whatever the situation is whatever the decision is the Capricorns are definitely going to be connecting with you on a very um, a spiritual part in your life four is the angel and fate okay so Capricorns are going to be bringing back spirituality to you and bringing balance to the confusion that is going on as we look forward and we're looking at Venus Venus is wonderful Venus is the recovery so something is going to be returning um, to you um, a love a past love is going to be returning to you this could be someone who is um, an Aquarius a Gemini or a Libra so some of you who were in a relationship with an Aquarius Gemini or Libra um, or um, this could be a child that is between the age of 18 and 45 is going to be returning to you okay so whoever this person whoever um, some of you were in a relationship the recovery of this Aquarian Gemini or Libra person is going to be returning to you and this is going to be good this was someone who really love and care for you deeply really loves and care about you deeply now the energy of Jupiter comes in, um, in. so for you Sagittarians oh my god OMG OMG you Sagis OMG you're gonna be discovering who you are but yet still discovering your true potential your heartbeat is going to be opening up you are going to be making a decision to choose um, the part that bring you um, to fulfillness of um, loving yourself okay and this is going to be powerful so you um, you know a lot of luck uh, Sagittarius because Jupiter rules the Sagittarius and the Sagittarius a lot of luck is going to be coming in for you Sagittarius where there is going to definitely 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 
be um, a transition that is coming in your life and this is going to be super super cool so the the confusion is going to be releasing out of your life you can see this confusion um, Set the areas are here and information. So, whatever is happening, communication via communication, it's going to be lifted out of your life. So, I want to say goodbye to the YouTubers. If you're going to be um, um, coming over to watch us, the extended reading because it's going to be um, um, four to five minutes long. I will see you and on demand. Okay, my darlings, let's move on. My fire sign. Oh my god, there is a lot that is going on. There is just definitely a lot that is going on. Seriously, seriously, a lot that is going on. Okay. Alrighty, alrighty, alright. Um, let's see what is coming up in the general readings for you guys to see where is this going. So money um you can you guys already uh, um know what is going to be transpired nine of pentacles so some extra money is going to be definitely coming in um for you guys um the um nine of pentacles always shows up in and i'm realizing this more and more that i do the moon readings that money always comes up in the moon reading and then you know that extra gains is going to be coming in that is a good way of um, seeing the money